Rebel Chums, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an overview of the Sabre Force Acolyte Shoto. This is a big trip to memory lane for me because this was one of the very first lightsabers that I reviewed on this YouTube channel. Um, so I'm really stoked to finally being able to review the Shoto version. Um, this is a really cool hilt. It's more meant for kids and people that are looking for a small light hilt. Um, it's a good representation of the actual Acolyte. I do have to say the actual Acolyte, I feel it's a bit better than the Shoto version. Um, I did a review of, already of this hilt close up, so check it out. And one of the few things that I mentioned in that video is the sharp parts are the same as on the original Acolyte. And uh, definitely on this hilt is the same issue. There's a bunch of sharp edges around the emitter and the pommel. So be careful if you want to give this to kids, make sure to buff out those sharp edges first. Now, as I said, this is a really cool hilt. It's small, it's light, it's compact. I installed it with the ASP electronics. So that basically allow me to save a lot of money by using the ASP electronics that are meant for ASP hilt parts. And they actually perfectly fit in this particular hilt and it allows me to save a substantial amount of money which I can repurpose to actually buy more empty hills from Sabre Fort. So in my personal opinion, a very good solution. Uh, check it out for yourself. You might be interested in getting that yourself as well. It's just a tip. So I installed it with the green colors you can see here. It's a nice two-handed hilt. Um, there's gripping area all around. It definitely is on the short end though. It's definitely just about two hands and nothing more, but um, it does feel good on the hand. Um, so this is a really good hilt as well if you wanna do open carry. So what I mean is if you wanna go, I don't know, you wanna go shopping and the wife drags you along or whatnot, or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, and um, you just wanna carry something with you and uh, this is a good lightsaber to carry. It's uh, easy to hang off the belt, it's relatively light, just make sure to buff those edges because otherwise it might be confused for a weapon uh, because it's definitely sharp. Um, but nonetheless, it's a very inexpensive hilt as well. These uh, run for 65 US dollar, empty, and I think it's a very fair price for what you get. Now, of the multitude of uh, Shoto hills that Sabre Force currently has, I have to say this one is the least interesting, in my personal opinion. There's the least amount of things going on. I feel it's a very simplistic and uh, in design, a very, uh, it's a little bit unattractive, in my personal opinion. There's better Shoto hills out there. Um, so if you wanna pick up a uh, Shoto version of your actual Acolyte, then this might be a good pick, of course, but if you're seeking for your first Shoto hilt, there might be better picks out there. Um, I'm personally pretty f uh, fond of the Arbiter Shoto uh, over this one. Uh, but then again, um, it, it, it fits its purpose, it fits its needs. It's all, of course, a personal opinion. Some people really love this design. This is a good little sit uh, Shoto hilt. So um, it's definitely worth uh, looking into. Hopefully you like this video. We have lightsaber reviews every Saturday. It's either an overview video like this, or it's an unboxing video, or a review video, or art related video. We got it every Saturday. So make sure to subscribe to check it out. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I see you in the next Saturday's uh, lightsaber review. Bye-bye.